Okay, the usual breakfast tray. Today, they had a chocolate croissant. Two chocolate croissants, two chocolate donuts, and a chocolate chip muffin. I'm claiming the muffin. And I think we're going to sit outside because I think it's gorgeous out there. Finally get a morning, we can look at the uh, sky and the sun. Alright, it's like, I don't know, 11 o'clock. Ethan and I are hungry. So we have come down for food. There is no line for the cantina. And I am dying for a burger. Alright, I know what you're doing. All right, hamburger, cheeseburger, cheeseburger. I want the cheeseburger. Nice and early, no lines, fresh food. Woohoo! I'm losing my mind. You know that, right? Oh, mine for the hamburgers. No worries. I can deal with it. I may have gotten carried away. I wanted to try the three salads. I thought you might want to, want to try them too. You got food. And then, so I got a cheeseburger. I said no sauerkraut and I got no bun. And then I got french fries. So I'm just having this for lunch. I am breezy. Wait, I'm not breezy. Weather is breezy. All right, so I went back to the barbecue thing for the sausage, because I think it was one of the best things they had. I made a burrito bowl of chicken and everything. It was literally, it's rice, it's chicken, it's peppers, and then there's all these other trays. She's like, so you just basically want everything. I'm like, well, yeah, pretty much. There was this powdery cheese I wasn't big on, so that was a no, I think we're a little bit Good, pretty good. Okay, would have been better as a double. Your usual bratwurst, nothing wrong there. An excellent, love their fries. Do you have a review? Your mouth is full. Yes, I think Jamie has a secret career as a waiter. Me? Yeah. Why? Keep asking me stuff when I have food in my mouth. I'll be like, How's it going to taste? It tastes like I just put food in my mouth. <laughs> Raspberry Chipotle. So. Chipotle, okay. It's not, and that's not a knock on it. It's just that's the experience well, I served up. Myself. Chipotle made taco bowls a thing. So well, I forgot to mention they charged me five dollars for guac for the Chipotle experience for video. <laughs> It is one o'clock. Ethan has gone to nap. Jen and Brian have gone to eat and then they were gonna go nap. Somehow I'm the only one left out here sitting in the sun. I don't know what happened. Um, I'm probably gonna go hang out on the veranda. Same thing, less noise. Um, yeah, it's been a nice day so far. Weather's held. Um, they are taking us back to Nassau for a brief stop. I don't know what for, they didn't say. 
um, just like an in and then back out kind of thing. And then, oh, I just saw lightning off in the distance. Um, yeah, there's storms like all around us, but every once in a while we get a nice blue patch. I don't know if you can see that or not. All right, I'm going to go. All right, after a nap this afternoon, we needed something before uh, the shows. What time is it? It's like 4.30. We're not having dinner until 8.15, so we ordered some food. Ethan insisted on chicken tenders, so I got him that. I wanted a Mickey bar. So the Wish does not do the macaroni and cheese in the room, um, which is a shame because that stuff was the bomb, and the stuff at Smokestack is runny and just eh. This is their version of the um, Anchors Away, the cheese platter. So it looks like brie, blue cheese, or all hands on deck. Baby Bell, looks like Pepper Jack. Those look like dried apricots. There's some celery. That's probably cheddar. That's probably cheddar. Look at the butterfly crackers. So we got that. This is way too much food, but that's okay. doesn't matter. And I ordered the tomato soup with the grilled cheese sandwich. Mostly for the grilled cheese sandwich. Plus, I wanted to taste the room service tomato soup. But first, I'm eating a Mickey bar. Because that'll melt. Okay, we made a weird little stop at NASA over there. Now we're on our way again. Supposedly tomorrow is a sea day. Saturday is supposed to be Castaway Key. And then Sunday we're supposed to be able to go back to Florida. It's been a pretty smooth sailing. Somebody told me that they thought last night was really rocky and I was like no, not at all. But Everybody has their own opinion. So we just went and saw Aladdin. It was good. I don't think it was as good as Little Mermaid. What was your opinion on the... Well, I gave him a standing ovation in that it was the final show of the, of the run. So it was for all of it. Um, I thought it was better than the one we saw on the fantasy. Okay. I mean, it feels like, you know, they, they plussed it up as far as that one. Uh, my only gripe with Aladdin, though, was there was a lot of it where it's like, it was just, I don't know what you're doing, I don't know what you're doing. Okay. And I don't know Aladdin like the back of my hand, so I wasn't, my brain wasn't filling in the words I wasn't understanding. Oh, uh, yeah. No, that was, that was something my kids played over and over and over and over again. So, yeah, that one I know. Um, but yeah, I thought The Little Mermaid was better produced. Maybe because this one just feels a little more dated because I've seen it performed in California and I've seen it performed on different ships and... Not that it wasn't good. Just wasn't my favorite of the three. And it didn't help. I think the lady in front of us had on the most obnoxious perfume. I can still taste it. So that was annoying me. All right, so now it's the time between the show and dinner. You have like an hour of course, Jen and Brian are getting their picture taken another bunch of times. And we are, we came back to the room. There really wasn't anything going on that we wanted to do. So um, they did announce that there's going to be a bunch of special events tomorrow. Things that they don't normally do on a cruise. Things that they do on Transatlantics and um, Panama repositioning cruises so that's going to be cool i think we'll do a bunch of activities tomorrow which is nice because we've done like two lay around days so i'm excited about that 
It was a very low-key, restful day, as Ethan puts it. Um, it was nice. In the, in the infinity pool was nice. I mean, it's not huge. There's a seat in there, like a tile seat you can sit on. Um, and it's broken up into like two spots, but there's a break in between. And I discovered that if you're a person who floats, that um, as the ship goes back and forth, it creates kind of a like a little whirlpool there. And I was letting it shoot me back and forth all over the place. So that was fun. I created my own little water slide. Um, we never did make it to the Aqua Mouse today. We, we talked about it, but nobody was awake long enough up on deck. Somebody was always asleep from the four of us. Somebody was always asleep. And then we all went back to our cabins and went to sleep. That was nice. Sat in the little round thing where the water shoots down the tile seats for a few minutes. Not real long. It was... It was windy, so it was kind of cold. Um, yeah. And then, other than that, we ate and slept. That's pretty much... I'm going to sneeze from this lady's perfume. I'm going to go now. Wandering Oaken's Hardy Party Planning Services. Woohoo! Okay. Let me just sit at the table. I'm not going anywhere anyway. Good, good. Oh, sorry. Ladies' room? Oh. There's a snowflake on that window. I don't know if you can see it. What did you do? I got Star Wars beer. Strong it is with the dark side. Yeah, we're, we're going to erase that. Oh, look, it's a picture of the royal family. I'll explain it to you later. Royal staff only? Oh, look, here's Kristoff and Sven. Other guy. Martha Stewart. El Sanana. Who's he? It's gotta be from the second movie. All the different snowflakes, you probably cannot see them. Men's room. This is a long hallway. There is a a dance. Could you take a step back so that I can actually film between? Okay. Oh, these are the paintings from the hall. We're in the hall. Look, it's the clock. <gasps> it's the clock. Oh, 
that's cool that they're the paintings from the hall that she's singing about. Hang in there, Joan. He's just not happy unless I'm filming the back end. Oh, help. Help. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hi. 120. We'll follow them. <laughs> yes. Oh, these two people look familiar. They're from our table. Is that it? Maybe that's why I didn't immediately recognize. Okay. Oh yeah. Let me. I want to sit on that side. So the stage is over there on the other side of that serving thing. Yeah, I don't think we've really been filming the menus all that much. No, not really. And I think I see one. Sorry, the theatrical lighting is making it very difficult to film this. Okay, this is our view of the stage. Jen ordered the carrot soup. Oh my, the tart. What is that? It's a ham tart. What did you order? Baked scallops. Oh, the baked scallops? What did you order? The ham tart. Okay. Wow. say pop that off and let's see what you got. Oh. <laughs> oh my. Yeah. That's super. Based on the description. Alright, so this is the coal board. That's so they like, had I think hot salmon in quotes, and I don't know what that means. Salmon. They mean that they spiced That's it up, or what the deal is. Even the, the ham and cheese tart is okay.
I don't do Norwegian food, so I got the uh, potato soup and the mushrooms, and there's a salad coming from Worlds of Marvel. You know, the restaurant. Got the juniper chicken. Logs of potato. What is this? The juniper spice chicken with potatoes and mushrooms. <laughs> Chicken. What is that, Brian? Patagonian toothfish. Okay. Otherwise known as Chilean sea bass. <laughs> okay. The original name of Chilean sea bass was Patagonian toothfish. It wasn't a seller because of the name. They changed it and now it's on the frozen fish. Thank you, Brian Wiki. <laughs> <laughs> I got a wedge salad from Marvel. All right, this is Elsa's Coronation Sunday. It's um, chocolate chip mint ice cream. Chocolate mint chip? I don't know. And Brian got the troll log. So I got the Sunday. Jamie got the Sunday. Jen got the Sunday. You mad? No, no, no. Are you mad that he got the troll log? <laughs> they just brought us a happy anniversary piece of cake. And the flower. <laughs> Alright, in the comments below. Squid, octopus, or starfish? I'm going with either starfish or squid. Ethan's first thought was an octopus and that it was a towel octopus. And therefore, it had issues. I don't know. I don't like it. Make it go away. Now it looks like a squid. Yep. Thank you. Love you. How about this? No!